I got a controller here, so um, I just wanted to show you guys that this thing's budget build doing VR. Uh, you can see I put the frames per second and stuff in the, right directly in front of me on purpose. That way we can uh, see what it does. That it can pretty much hold between 85 and 90 frames per second. No more. Uh, I'm, I'm driving with the controller here, so bear in mind. This is going to be bad. Now, and these uh, numbers also reflect me using OBS at the same time, so you'll likely see better FPS. Or it'll be able to hold up a little bit better, but... taking away juice as well so let's do this Oops. so let's do this let's bring that you can see what we're running oh clear so look what we're running here guys the ryzen 3 2200g the cpu that's in my budget bill and we can continue on down it's a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. And we are running 8 gigabytes of uh, memory. We're running 8 gigabytes of memory. 
So Ryzen 3, 2200, pretty much, this is, this actually is my budget build over the GTX 10. So if you want to run VR on the cheap, you can see the performance right there. Uh, very good performance, holding between 80 and 90 frames per second, and that's with everything on. You saw the, you see the grandstands on, the pits, the pits are on, look back there, the pits are on. So uh, you could lower some things to completely keep 90 frames, but uh, you don't need you don't need a, a ridiculously crazy computer to uh, <clears throat> run VR. Uh, this will be very well here. Um, of course, the more cars you have on here, there's like 20 cars uh, in the room right now. But uh, the more cars you have, the more it's going to dip. ASW will come on. Uh, but for the most part, it stays 90 frames per second, not bad. And that's with the budget build. So uh, I am using the Oculus Rift. Uh, I did uh, set some settings in the uh, NVIDIA settings to make sure it uh, runs optimally. And uh, that would be included in the impact that you buy. But anyway, there you go.